Now next one regarding the halides. Okay, you must remember one thing: the stability of halides actually decreases down the group in group 17. अतः यह तो Hello friends, this is Vishnu here. Welcome back to my channel, Tips, Tricks and Guns by Vishnu. So in this video, we will continue with our uh, P block. Okay, that is group 16 elements, and uh, this uh, video will be different from our previous P block and D of uh, D and F block videos. Okay, this is because the other two videos. Okay, the P block videos. Okay, uh, not two videos actually. There were two sets of videos, right? D block uh, nearly five videos, F block uh, one a lengthy video, and P block uh, three videos. Okay, so, regarding the group 15 elements. Okay, so uh, they were full NCERT explained videos. Okay, that is all the points in the NCERT that are required for your exams had been included. Okay, including the uh, explanation of all tables, graphs, and all. Okay, so if you haven't seen that before, uh, please go to my channel and uh, please watch those videos. Okay, it will be uh, very much useful for you, and uh, you can see that from the good reviews that I got uh, from those videos. Okay, apo e need two thousand twenty k. പഠിക്കുന്ന കുട്ടികൾക്ക് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ആയിട്ട് ഓൾ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് പോയിന്റ്സ് ഹാവ് ബിൻ ഗിവൺ എ കൺസൈസ് ഫോം ഓക്കെ എല്ലാ യു മസ്റ്റ് റിമെമ്പർ വൺ തിങ് ഓൾ ദ പോയിന്റ്സ് ഇൻ ദി എൻ സി ആർ ടി ഓഫ് പി ബ്ലോക്ക് ഡി ബ്ലോക്ക് എറ്റ്സെട്രാ ആർ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ബട്ട് ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഓഫ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ എലമെൻസ് ദ മേജർ ഓഫ് ദ മേജർ പോയിന്റ്സ് അലോങ് വിത്ത് ദ ട്രിക്സ് വിൽ ഓൺലി ബി എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻഡ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾക്കറിയാലോ ഞാൻ ഇതിൽ മേജർ ആയിട്ടുള്ള പോയിന്റ്സ് ആണ് പറയാം ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് പോയിന്റ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് പോയിന്റ്സ് മാത്രമാണ് ഈ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ എലമെൻസിൽ പറയാം ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീനും ഡി ആൻഡ് എഫ് ബ്ലോക്ക് ഓൾറെഡി നല്ലവണ്ണം ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ആയിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പറഞ്ഞു തന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞു ഓക്കെ സോ നിങ്ങൾക്കും കാണാനും കുറച്ച് സമയമേ ഉള്ളൂ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ എനിക്കത് വീഡിയോ എടുത്ത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി എഡിറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് അപ്ലോഡ് ചെയ്ത് തരാനും കുറച്ച് സമയമേ ഉള്ളൂ സോ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഞാനിതിൽ ഇമ്പോ മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് പോയിന്റ്സ് മാത്രമായിട്ട് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ചെയ്തേക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ സോറി ഫോർ ദ ലോങ് ഇൻട്രഡക്ഷൻ ലെസ് ഗോ ദ വീഡിയോ വിത്തൌട്ട് വേസ്റ്റിംഗ് എനി മോർ ടൈം So friends, group 16 elements, അതായത് നമ്മളുടെ ഒ സി സി ടി പൊറോട്ട അതായത് ഓക്സിജൻ സൾഫർ സെലീനിയം ടെലൂറിയം ആൻഡ് പോളോണിയം ഓക്കെ സോ ഹിയർ ഓക്സിജൻ ആൻഡ് സൾഫർ ആസ് യു നോ ദ ആർ നോൺ മെറ്റൽസ് ദെൻ കംസ് അവർ മെറ്റലോയിഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ കംസ് അവർ ഫൈനലി ദ മെറ്റൽസ് ഓക്കെ ആക്ച്വലി ഞാൻ ട്രെൻഡ്സിനെ കുറിച്ച് പറയുമ്പോൾ മുൻപൊക്കെ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീനിലും ഡി ആൻഡ് എഫ് ബ്ലോക്കൊക്കെ പറയുമ്പോൾ എല്ലാ ട്രെൻഡ്സും ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ആയിട്ട് പറഞ്ഞു ഇവിടെ ഞാൻ എക്സെപ്ഷൻസ് മാത്രമേ പറയുന്നുള്ളൂ ഏതിലൊക്കെയാണ് in which and all characteristics or properties like ionization enthalpy electron gain enthalpy etc in which and all characteristics anomalies come okay appo nan paranjittillengil nan oru point adine kuriche vyaktamaakittillengil then please make sure that that trend will be the same as you have studied in your general periodic classification of elements adhaayad for example ipo endha paraya metallic strength okay metallic strength increases down the group alle ad anganeyulla chela point gal pinne ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy and down the group ionization enthalpy decreases down the group right so anganeyulla point gal so appo ivide exception first one is electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy is only exception here and the exception is that it decreases down the group that is it becomes more it uh, from more negative value it goes to a less negative value down the group but only starting from sulfur and the least is for oxygen okay so sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium and then comes our oxygen okay remember that point now next important point that is regarding the oxides okay oxides in the garyam parayumbol sulfur selenium and tellurium can form oxides that is oxygen is actually an element of group 16 and it can combine with the same group okay e sulfur same group illulla oxygen ait bind cheyunu okay by what oxidation state okay sulfur selenium and uh, tellurium combines with oxygen at plus 4 oxidation states okay and uh, it combines with fluorine at plus 6 oxygen uh, oxidation state okay and next point regarding the oxides is that we have the reducing character is absent for our h2o but when we take our so2 okay especially moist so2 is a reducing agent while teo2 is a oxidizing agent okay remember those points also sco2 that is selenium dioxide is actually solid in nature while oxygen uh, so2 etc are all gases okay. now next one regarding the halides okay you must remember one thing the stability of halides actually decreases down the group in group 17 adayad if suppose uh, an a uh, group 16 element e combines with our halogen then it will be of the form ex2 ex4 and ex6 and of ex6 only ef6 exists okay flu uh, fluoride mathrame uh, uh, element 6 plus oxidation state la exist cheynullu 
and in that itself if you take the uh, similar fluorides okay ipo ee x2 mathra edukunu ee x4 mathra edukunu then usually the stability decreases as fluorides greater than chlorides greater than bromides greater than iodides okay oru ef2 will be more stable than ecl2 okay aa oru concern okay that is very much important the thermal stability order okay now next important point that is regarding sf6 and all okay so sf6 in a oru extra stability und okay that is because of certain steric uh, reasons okay steric polar reason steric reasons means oru crowding and matter karyangalum karanam it has an extra stability okay you must remember that point then you must remember the extra points like s2cl2 that is the uh, dimeric uh, states of the various uh, uh, elements of both group 16 and 17 and the next important point that you have to note here is nothing but sc2cl2 okay sc2cl2 okay dissociate okay uh, it actually decomposes to okay, what scl4 and our sc okay now regarding uh, other halides except oxygen you must remember one thing except oxygen all others can form ex2 okay appo ex2 undakunnathu x uh, all elements of group 16 other than oxygen oxygen usually forms only difluorides only of2 and o2f2 are possible okay and you know that of2 and o2f2 if it comes in any reaction you must think of fluorination that is they are strong fluorinating agents now nextly we can talk about the reaction of oxygen with metals okay and you must remember one thing that is oxygen now uh, does not react with uh, our au and pt that is uh, gold and uh, platinum uh, oxygen does not react okay and another important point that is to be noted here is that usually you know that metal metallic oxides already i have said in my p block video all metallic oxides are basic in nature but there are a few exceptions that is exceptions like vikramen okay our v2o5 then cro3 and mn2o7 they are not basic in nature they are acidic in nature okay now nextly we can take the case of our aluminum oxide that is very important what happens when aluminum oxide mix gets mixed with the acidic solution and when it is mixed with an alkaline solution so with acid adai the hcl ay to combine cheyumbol it forms alh2o6 times 3 plus ions okay this complex is very much important recently uh, one uh, child has asked me a doubt regarding this okay usually octahedral complexes are formed okay because they are more stable now Uh, ne next one when al2o3 reacts with the base what happens okay the compound form this na3al f6 okay now the next important points that you have to note here is that the reactions of ozone okay you must remember one thing ozone is a very much strong oxidizing agent because it can release nascent oxygen okay that is very important so ozone aitulla edu reaction ga vannalum ningal manasilaakkanam avade or oxidation sambhavikkunnundu it's a strong oxidizing agent now next important point that is regarding physical appearance of of ozone in various states okay in gas okay you must uh, you may think that many oxygen atoms are dispersed all over so they are pale blue gas but when they are coming together in liquid okay they becomes a dark blue liquid and then we are uh, all the molecules come together the darkness again increases and it becomes a violet black solid okay so that is very important it has been asked in our previous year question paper now next important point that is regarding the sulfur okay you know that there are two forms of sulfur alpha and or beta sulfur okay and you must remember one thing that is alpha sulfur is nothing but yellow rhombic sulfur okay alpha ry you can remember it as alpha ry yellow rhombic sulfur alpha sulfur it is the most stable form okay it is the most stable allotrope of sulfur then next important point is that here there is a temperature called transition temperature that is nothing but 369 kelvin 369 kelvin okay 369 kelvin okay le appo 369 kelvin le below anengil uh, alpha sulfur at this temperature both alpha and beta and above uh, 369 kelvin it is beta sulfur usually then you have to study the chair forms the uh, then the crown forms of the sulfur And that is s6 s8 etc and the bond angles that is 107 degree uh, in uh, our uh, crown form and uh, 102.8 uh, degree in our chair form etc okay those bond angles are important now let's go to the next point that is sulfur dioxide or oxo acids of sulfur etc which you must study from your textbook okay adha explain cheyanninga oru paar samayam edukum so very important that the structures of the sulfuric acids okay sorry oxo acids of sulfur okay now let's go to the reactions of the sulfuric acid what is common in the 
them. Okay. I have told you uh, before that nitric acid is actually a strong oxidizing agent and the products in most of the reactions is NO2 and H2O. That is the trick. Okay, NO2 and H2O. Only in case of dilute HNO3, we have this product change and I have given the tricks to remember those products also in my previous video. Okay, so here what is the common thing? What happens in our uh, reducing reactions of SO2? Okay, SO2 in the case of reducing reactions and the can of products and the can of reactants, common reactants. The common reactants are usually SO2 and H2O and the product is usually sulfate. That is the important point, sulfate and H+. Okay, remember that point very much clearly. And the next thing is regarding our oxidizing reactions of H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Normal day nitric acid reaction le NO2 plus H2O kitte yadu bole in with all reactions with oxidizing reactions of H2SO4 gives SO2 and H2O okay SO2 and H2O very important and finally I will t just tell about the contact process so that the contact process la major reaction that is SO2 plus O2 giving SO3 in the presence of V2O5 and further reactions okay ഫോർ ഈ